San Diego City Council is set to vote on a plan that could add more housing near public transit. Tomorrow, if approved, it could be a step forward to address the city's affordable housing crisis, but not everyone is on board with the proposal. Fox 5 Sarah Allegre joining us live in Grantville with a preview of the vote. Sarah. Kathleen, the new proposal could add some more backyard apartments and high density housing units to neighborhoods just about a mile away from public transit. Now, it is a move stirring some debate. On one hand, the city says it's not only going to improve access to transit, but also address the ever growing housing crisis, while others say, you know, that's not the case. People make up a lot of reasons why they oppose new homes. And sometimes those are like good reasons and sometimes they're not. And I think all the evidence is that we, we have a housing crisis, we need more homes. Contention building over a new proposal coined by the city of San Diego called Sustainable Development Areas or SDAs. It's a plan intended to solve housing woes and access to transit. We've got the coaster, we've got the sprinter, but one of the big challenges is that there's not a lot of people who are able to live or work near those big transit investments. Colin Parent with local transit improvement organization Circulate San Diego says if given the green light, SDAs would expand both the types and number of homes allowed to be built near a bus or trolley stop from half a mile to a mile in walking distance. Jeff Huter, chair of neighbors for a better San Diego, raising an eyebrow. And our experience is a mile away from uh, a bus stop or a trolley shop stop, people are going to be driving their cars. They're not going to be taking mass transit. The city's planning director in a statement to Fox 5 says this will also quote further fair and affordable housing opportunities in a city that desperately needs it. The move stirring debates surrounding whether or not this will be effective, stressing these two arguments. So if we have the capacity to build 1.6 million homes and our need is 100,000, then clearly we, we don't have a capacity problem. What we have is what we call a land turnover problem. Sometimes you, you hear some people say, oh, this is, this is going to be bad for homeowners. No, that's quite the opposite. This is actually going to give more property rights, more opportunities for homeowners to do what they want with their own personal property. Now, the concept of sustainable development areas was introduced in October of last year as part of the city's land development code update. Now, tomorrow at 10, city will, the city council will vote on this proposal and see what happens next in moving forward with this plan. For now, live in Grantville, Sarah Allegre, Fox 5 News.